Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Great tip for you today from Zoom. Zoom had an update that came out, Zoom 5.4.3, released on November 16th. You've always been able to share your screen or share a window. You can now, with this new update, share multiple applications or windows at one time. Let me show you how this works. I've already got a Zoom meeting going. Here I am. There's Susan, doesn't matter how many people. Here is share. When I click on share, here's the new feature. I have Word running and I have Excel running. I'm going to click on my Excel book one, but watch the message I get when I click this. Hold control to select multiple windows. I'm going to hold down the control key. I'm going to click on Microsoft Word. I could do more windows or more applications than that. Click on share, watch this. I will put a screenshot of how this looks, but it looks really good for your participants or attendees. So here's why I shared two screens. So I've got a couple examples for you. Example number one is in Excel. I have for the month of January 300. I'm going to copy it. I'm trying to demonstrate how to do a link from Excel to Word. So I come over into Word, I type in the word month. I'm just making this up, J-A-N. But instead of putting in the 300, I'm going to right click. And let's just link that $300 in there. There we go. Here we go. Here's the link. This actually is not 300. It is 475. Look over here. It's 475. I just got to fix the alignment. I'm not going to sit here and worry about it now. But that is a link. Change this to the number one, and it changes to one. There you go. Another example of why you would want to do this is maybe I'm trying to show people how our website looks in Microsoft Edge versus Google Chrome. Again, I would have Edge and Chrome running on our website and share them both. I could even pull up Firefox or Safari and do multiple ones. So couple tips I've already figured out. If you're going to do this and you have multiple monitors, whatever you're sharing has to at least be on the same monitor. So if you have two monitors, it doesn't matter if everything's on monitor two or monitor one, but they do have to be on the same monitor. The second item I wanted to tell you is someone's going to ask, why don't you just share your entire desktop? Well, the resolution for my desktop, when I share it, it always looks small on people's screens. And I don't want to have to go sit there and make it 1920 by 1080 all the time. So I really just want to share a couple applications. Now I can. So this is a great new feature from Zoom. I usually don't do coming soon videos. But along with this 5.4.3 release, and this is tomorrow's video, we have some new security features including hide profile pictures that I'll cover tomorrow, and suspend participant activities. So that'll be tomorrow. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions about Zoom, please put them in the comment box. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day.